Hey guys, what's up? My name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent and I'm actually here in my hotel room. It is about 6.48 a.m. Woke up to the news that Garmin has released three new Phoenix 3 devices. Now the Phoenix 3 has been a wearable or a outdoors watch that's been with us for some time. It's a GPS watch, arguably one of the best ones on the market. They've improved the design. It now has a built-in heart rate monitor and they've also released a couple of versions. One that has a nylon and leather strap that's interchangeable so that's a little bit more expensive as well. Now the one that's kind of catching everybody's attention is the one with the uh, built-in heart rate monitor. That's going to run upwards of $799 so uh, obviously a very expensive watch and it will have a sapphire screen as well. Additionally they are going to be adding some stuff to the user interface. It's going to uh, track advanced metrics such as your VO2 max, uh, and your max lactate threshold. And so uh, those are some advanced metrics that uh, the device previously didn't necessarily track. They are going to be adding those updates to the previous generation Phoenix 3. So if you have a Phoenix 3 previous generation, one from 2014, you won't necessarily need to upgrade. You'll only be out the heart rate monitor that's built in. Garmin is also going to be releasing the Garmin Varia, which is a heads-up display, basically Garmin's version of Google Glass. And it's optimized for sports tracking and fitness, so you're not going to get some of the smart features that you'd get with Google Glass, but you're going to get features that are designed for uh, performance in athletes, jogging, cycling. So you're going to get things like on-screen speed, location, maps, uh, navigation, all of those kinds of things. So uh, definitely uh, something that's going to probably interface between Garmin's smart wearables and their new heads-up display. So that's uh, something that we're going to get hands-on here at CES as well. Now one of the cool things about the Garmin Varia is that it appears that it's a device that will be able to attach to whatever sort of eyewear you already have. So if you're wearing uh, prescription glasses, you'll be able to attach it to that. If you're wearing sunglasses, you'll be able to attach it to that. So it's going to be a fairly versatile device, something that's going to uh, add heads, sports heads-up displays or HUDs um, to those of you who uh, don't want to necessarily be constantly glancing down at your wrist for the information that you need. Now the Garmin Varia is going to run $400, so while that is relatively affordable as far as heads-up displays are concerned, it is going to be an accessory, and additionally it's probably going to be an accessory to your accessory. So you're probably going to be looking at spending five, six hundred dollars for your wearable, and then an additional four hundred for the Varia. So you're going to be out almost a thousand dollars if you're looking to use this sort of technology. Now Garmin's also releasing what's called the Tactics Bravo. It's actually designed for tactical situations, so it tracks things like jumping out of airplanes. Uh, and it does halo jumps, so jumps that are like super high. It also does jumps that are super low. Um, so like base jumps kind of thing. So uh, it's probably not something that the average consumer is going to need. Now that's not the only thing it does. It does track other things like distance and speed and other common metrics for those of you who are joggers and cyclers. But it does again have that tactical edge. It's compatible, for example, the screen is compatible with night vision goggles. So if you're somebody who uses night vision goggles routinely and likes to jump out of airplanes, Garmin has the fitness tracker or the watch for you. Hey guys, that's it for now. Stick with us this week for CES 2016. We're hoping to get hands-on on a lot of these devices on the showroom starting tomorrow. My name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent. We'll catch you next time.